back we are in day 16 we are going to learn inventory management so previously we have learned about sales and purchasing and business central um, today we'll be discussing about setting up inventory that is item card categories and attributes and also we'll be talking about the important key terms in inventory management and bills of material and then i'll be showing you uh, the inventory valuation method also a checklist when you are considering when you are planning to do the inventory management so before we proceed i'd like to tell you that if you are directly seeing this um 16th day okay uh, if you have missed the previous day please go and watch the previous day videos as well and the second one is what uh, you need a business central account or trial account or a, a company account or a demo account in order to us work okay in order to just check and see how it works so please go to my channel and click on the playlist uh, this is my channel gomes tech talks and if you check here it is um it is like um, uh, bc functional consultant 101 mastering the essentials and if you click here it will come to this page where you can see there is an option uh, for business central trial version how to access this okay these are the ebook resources which i have uh, prepared for the business central community and also for i'll be preparing for power apps power bi and everything okay so here you can find that uh, you have various ebooks references these are all the ebooks okay al mastery in three weeks which i have covered the complete information about al mastery that is we have discussed about the 21 days al programming challenge and this is microsoft uh, mastering business central functional consultant this is a q a that is interview question and answers for between beginners to intermediate level that is two to five years so zero to five years that is beginners to two uh two to five years so this is for functional consultant and this is for the al programming okay this this hundred plus nearly i think it will be 120 plus questions which will cover the entire al programming this is the interview question and answers for al programming which is based on this particular book okay and this is a um, interview question and answers for business central developers so this is a part one which i have uh, um, curated for the freshers okay so part two will be for the intermediate level and part three will be for the advanced level i'll be i am creating that so please stay tuned and this is for the 21 20 must have checklist for the functional consultants what are the checklist you should have whatever i am covering uh, in the video okay so this book will be uh, provided a uh, for free for the members who are there with me uh, from the day one towards the day 41 and uh, they have they should be interacting with me often with the exercises and everything okay so they will be getting this 21 20 checklist and if you are not a member but you wanted to get the checklist you can buy it from here okay so this is the complete ebook uh, ebook uh, content let us ebook collection i'll be updating this uh, every month okay and if you have any queries if you wanted to connect with me you can connect with me through this particular uh, top mid account so here you can connect and uh, um, uh, connect, uh, like if you have any queries if you want any specific uh, uh, doubts you want to deal with if you if you are a fresher in business central if you want to mo know more about it then you can definitely schedule a call with me okay anything so what all these things all these links i have given in the description so you can find these uh, things in the description so this is a schedule a call with me business central ebooks that is ebook resources so here you can find it so please don't forget to watch this okay and uh, uh, this is the 41 days channel uh, that is a 41 days functional consultants boot camp playlist you can check here so the tutorial can be viewed by everyone but the exercises and solutions are only available for the members okay so i'll be connect uh, i'll like you can just continue with the today's topic i will tell you more about each and every uh, every book like what is this is book i'll just release a separate video for every book individually so let us go to the uh, concept like inventory management so for each physical product you trade in you must create an item card of inventory type items you offer to customers but do not keep an inventory you can register as catalog item which you can convert to inventory items when necessary so you can increase or decrease the quantity of an item in inventory by posting directly to item ledger entries 
uh, if you um, if you wanted to learn about something more about it please go and watch my uh, uh, watch my uh, playlist okay so inventory increases and decreases are naturally also recorded when you post purchases and sales document respectively so you can understand about like selling the process invoice sales and everything in the previous uh, day that is a late day 13 i have discussed about it okay so uh first of all whatever the thing you wanted to do is what you have to create an item card because uh, what are the item you are going to sell it and what is the current inventory level so items among the other products uh, are the basis of your business and the goods or services that you trade in uh, each item must be registered as an item card okay so the item card of type inventory or a service or non inventory to be specify in the item card so let us see how to create an item card here just go to the search okay this is the business central uh, screen ui role center page so click on the search and type for item okay you can see an item card here just click here items so it will open the item card for you so once if you open the item card for you you can see like what are the existing item these are all the this is my demo account so trial account so it is having some a set of uh, inbuilt items whatever the items which are there it is there okay so um if you want to edit something you can edit it or you can just go and search for the type uh, new okay so you have a new so in new you can see it's new new from picture new from picture is what the uh, copilot uh, way of doing it and new is what you can type uh, everything and record it okay so click here new and um, copilot i'll just add it as a bonus video so just we will just look at the ex, uh, current um, planned topic okay so we will just click here item uh and then you have to add the new item here so once if you click it it will take you to an item card how to create a new item card here so you can see there is various options so this item okay so you can see here this complete item this one is a item fast tab and this is an inventory fast tab so if you want to see more details about the item so you can click here show more so here you can uh, enter the number and description what is the uh, description chair or whatever the description you wanted to give you can give and type okay so as i told you have to tell the type whether it is an inventory a service or non inventory what type of item it is you have to tell that okay um uh, to specify if the item is a physical inventory unit a labor time unit that is service in the sense um it's a labor uh, time unit or a physical unit that isn't tracked an inventory non inventory which means the physical unit which is not another inventory topic okay for uh, an item can be structured as a parent item with underlying child items in a bill of material so we will be discussing about the bill of material so as of now let us just um, proceed further um then base unit and measures like whether how we are going to uh, measure it like pieces or a pallet or a pack or miles or what so you can just go ahead with the pieces last modified today we can just go and it has very g i g10 number item category code if you wanted to give the category code like whether it has any coffee makers or a furniture because chair is comes under a furniture right or is an office chair if you want to go with an office chair you can select it automatic um text uh, extended text so if you don't want this you can just make it um you can enable it if you want uh, and then common item number if you want to give any common item number purchase code what is the purchase code for this that will be a default codes which will be available and then inventory so shelf number what is the shelf number um st uh, stock out warning if you want to give the stock out warning to them unit volume uh, over receipt code so all these things if you want to post it you can do that on cost of posting everything okay this is the prices and sales details so what is the unit price you wanted to quote for this okay that is very important so i just wanted to quote um uh, 8000 for this okay so it's 80000 i'm sorry so 8000 piece per piece okay sales whether you are blocking the sales or not replenishment whether it's a replenished or um item or not okay and uh, planning um, item tracking and everything all these things you can give it and you can see it's saved okay it's showing it's saving it's saved and now you can see your chair item here okay just if you scroll down 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 you can see the chair item here and if you didn't find if you can't find it you can just go and check it 
in the uh, search icon okay so that is possible here okay so once if i click chat you can see the chat which we have the quantity in on hand we haven't entered so you can again edit this and you can type quantity on hand if you have this item in the inventory you can just uh, enter you have this okay so you can edit this uh, and you can enter the quantity on hand is uh, five or of uh, six or whatever you want you can just type that uh so quantity on hand uh, yes this you have to yeah sorry so this you have to enter in the item ledger entries yes so that you have to post it there okay so this is what if you just go and check your item ledger entry you can find it okay so item ledger entries so you can go and click here where um okay you have to create an item ledger entry okay so thousand you have to search for it okay uh, even i think you can search here okay so item number so you can just uh, find entries applied entries okay order tracking okay uh, so the here you have um uh, okay so here you have created an order okay so this is what uh, this is what about how to create a new item for you okay so this is how you can create an item um then if you want to edit the number if you want to edit any uh, name or something you can also do that so this is a part of uh, inventory and one more important thing in inventory is what, is what bill of bills of material so this is to structure parent items that must be assembled from other items or produced by resources or machine centers from components so as uh, you have two types of uh, bills of material in business central uh, that is assembly bom and production bom so assembly bom is is that like items that consist of other items assembled with basic or no resources production in the sense items that consist of different components and sub assemblies produced to work or machine center okay uh, so you can um, this is a bill of materials okay so um, you can also create a production bill of material so that is uh, uh, also possible with uh, business central uh, let us try to see whether it is available uh, here okay just go and search and uh, type production okay i think bom is not enabled uh, and but i have uh, i have discussed about bom okay so this is uh, probably because of so we have general bom that is reports and analysis we have boms boms raws and assemblies and um, yes on uh, um assembly bom we have yes right uh, so we can see whether we have production bom no so we have assembly bom here uh, you can see here the assembly bom okay so as i told like um, assembly bom is a type of bom that is a bill of material where um, where uh, the items that consist of other items assembled with basics or no resources so you can just add like any other um, uh, additional bill of bills you have to add it for this particular thing okay this is all about bom and uh, we have also various reports for that that we will discuss in a reporting part okay so i think the basics whatever we have covered is completed an inventory valuation method so we are going to discuss about the inventory valuation method so this is the first one is a first in first out okay like assume that the first item added to inventory or the first one to sold out sell out so why it is this is possible for a set of product <clears throat> like if the shelf life or um, shelf life of the product will become obsolete for example food products so whatever is coming first will be sent out first last in first out okay so which is like um, the industries where price inflation is a concern okay like it will be a uh, taxable income for them so last in whatever is uh, coming last will be sending out first average cost okay calculate the average cost of all items in inventory valuation uh, and standard cost 
specific costing you have to do it like ideal for high value easily identifiable items like jewelry vehicles or uh, furniture weighted average implementation consideration and changing valuation method so all these things comes under the inventory valuation method this document will be available for the members if you are a member of this channel please send a mail you can find my mail id in the community post i'll be sending the just specify what uh, checklist you wanted okay just watch the video and uh, and to be uh, to be easily get this checklist you have to just watch the video first okay and then come back uh, the next checklist for inventory management is what the creating item costs okay so what is it creating item card for uh, each physical product you trade in create an item card for that the second one is work with bills of material structure parent item you sell as kits um consisting of the parents components or that you assemble to order or to stock the third one is categorize items so maintain an overview of items and help you find and sort items by organizing them in categories the fourth one is work with item attributes assign item attributes or different value types to your items to help you sort and find items fifth one is work with catalog items so create a special item cards for items you offer to customers but don't maintain an inventory uh, but you don't maintain an inventory so physical inventory process perform physical counting of your inventory within physical inventory order and physical inventory recording pages and the uh, count adjust and reclassify inventory so counting adjusting and reclassifying the inventory like you should do it like for the to, for the change in information view the availability of the item is very important per location by period by sales by purchase event and everything transfer inventory between locations to manage warehouse activities or with the item reclassification journal reserve items like reserve inventory or inbound items or various orders set up item tracking uh track item for serial numbers such as uh, recalls or anything work with the serials and rot numbers trace item track items um uh, trace item track items uh, that is for uh, find where any serial or rot number was used in supply chain and all these things like copy existing items to create new items set up new item to measure and everything so these are the ch uh, checklist uh, for the inventory management so what is the next tomorrow we'll be discussing about the exercises and day after tomorrow we'll be discussing about the solution so uh, the exercises and solution will be available for the members please stay connected and wait for day 2019 which is about project management in business central thank you take care and bye bye